OK, your Microsoft Excel, and you want to use the filter function to return a specified number of top or bottom values. Let's see how this can be done. So here's my data, transaction data. I've put it in a table, and I did that by clicking somewhere in the data, and then going to Insert and Table. And I've also given it a name. I've called it Transactions. I've done this because when the data is in the table, it's much easier to refer to in your formulas. So over here, what I want to do initially is return the last three transactions for store nine. So that's the last three transactions in terms of date. First of all, I need to perform the filter. So I'm only returning transactions for this store. So my array is the data set. And all I have to do, because it's in a table, is just click up in that top left-hand corner and it selects the data, comma, include store ID. So I just click in the column heading there, equals the store ID I'm holding in I1. So if I close the bracket and press enter, those are all the records for that store. Now I want these in ascending order. I'm going to sort them. So the first argument is array, and that's been returned by my filter function, comma, sort index. So the numeric position of the column I want to sort by. I want to sort by date, that's in position two. So I put in the two. Sort order, now that by default is ascending, so I can just leave that. Close the bracket at the end. Now I have the dates in ascending order. Now I only want to return these last three records. So what I'm going to do is use the take function. Now the array is returned by sort and filter, comma. And then I'm going to use rows to specify the number of rows that I want to return. Now the number of rows I want to return, I've specified up here in K1. So if I close the bracket and press enter, that actually returns the first three records in the list. So the earliest dates. I want to return the latest dates. So all I need to do is put a minus in front of the K1, so minus three, and I get the last three dates. So let's try another one. We want to return the top three transactions in terms of value for the same store. So I'm filtering this data again, comma, and the include argument specifies that the store ID needs to equal the store ID I'm holding in I1. If I close the bracket, that returns all those transactions again for that store. And I need to sort them this time by transaction value. So the sort index this time will be five because transaction value is the fifth column. And this time I want them in descending order. So I'm going to specify minus one as my sort order. Close the bracket, press enter. So you can see I have the top transaction values at the top of my list here, but I only want these three transactions. So I'm going to use take. My array is returned by sort and filter, comma. Rows is going to be the value I'm holding up here in K1, three. So I close the bracket and press enter, and I get those top three transaction values. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.